Well, my name's Nick McCrory. I'm a local fishing guide. I grew up fishing the south coast of Cornwall. Um, my dad was a fisherman before me. He basically taught me what I know now. Um, <clears throat> I grew up sitting in fishing tackle shops. He used to run two fishing tackle shops and um, listening to other people talking about fishing. And um, yeah, it's led on to me going into a bit of commercial fishing for a time, um, which I did quite well at, and I got a good understanding of how bass feed and where they locate themselves. And now it's gone on natural progression for me to, um, to teach people because the fish stocks are very low and I, I teach people the conservation side of it as well as the technique. Um, so um, Basco Deeper as a business has evolved from firstly making equipment, handmade equipment for lure fishermen into, um, up into rods, making rods and, um, and basically teaching people. And now I have a charter vessel where I take people out on trips and um, we fish around the Cornish coast and try and target different species on fly and lure. Well, I, I heard about the Fly Fishing Festival through a, a good friend of mine, David Walthamcroft Dodds, and um, <clears throat> he's been out with me a few times on some sessions, and uh, he explained to me that it was a really good festival to get involved with. And I personally would like to really promote fly fishing in Cornwall and promote it to younger people as well that, you know, feel that the sport of fly fishing is an elite thing, and it's not. It's just a rod with a fly or a lure on the end. It's no different. It's just the way it's been looked at. And I really want to get behind promoting it in Cornwall and get behind the tourism of it and get people here. Because people go to Ireland fishing and people get so behind how good bass fishing is in Ireland, but we have it just as good in Cornwall. You just need to find where they are and target them. And um, I really want to get behind that side of it and uh, hopefully you know, get more and more people here doing it. Yeah, well, you're kind of looking for structure. Fish love structure, bass especially. So you don't want deep water, you want shallow water. You want kind of like a lunar landscape. If you can find any kind of reef that's flooded on the tide, you know, a couple of feet deep, three, four feet deep is perfect. <clears throat> you know, you get your fly fishing on a popper. You know, you're not gonna lose your flies. Fishing surface fly fishing is great. It's really productive. Um, certainly, you know, fly fishing into a wind is hard work, but with a popper, you can get it out there, leave it on the surface and just pull it through. Don't be afraid of ripple. The fish are looking from below and looking up. They don't see what we see laterally. I would recommend if you're just getting into catching bass on the fly in saltwater fly fishing, is to, first of all, you know, just sight read, you know, get some Polaroids on, walk around, sight fish areas, have a look at where the, the fish may be feeding. So look for bait fish first of all, look where birds are feeding. Nature's the best way of telling where fish are. Um, they do it for a living. Um, look around, you know, the, the actual clarity of the water and, um, you know, spend a bit of time just doing that first of all and looking at the tide. Fish don't like slack water. They like a tidal race, they like movement. That's what draws in bait fish. So um, um, following bait fish are generally predator fish. So it's a good idea to, to just scout the area out first. And then, <clears throat> you know, don't be afraid to try different techniques. You don't need to cast far. You don't need to be a great caster. You just need to get the lure in the water for a length of time. The longer you leave that lure in the water, then the greater chances you're going to have of catching.